Thought they had me, but I slipped away. That's why they call me Jake the Snake, baby. Where the fuck you going? Hank said the drop is on third. It's back that way. I just passed through there. There's a squad car with a cop sitting in it. Fine. It's a turn the fucking car around, motherfucker. Get that gun out of my face. And follow the instructions that Hank gave you. Look, I don't care what Hank says. I told you why we're going this way. Fuck, motherfucker. I gotta be at the rendezvous in five fucking minutes or my guy watch. We won't make it going this way. God, motherfucker, that's right. Drive this son of a bitch. Keep driving, sweetheart. Air 21, I'm in pursuit. White Toyota Corolla, southbound on mission. Fucking do what Bank paid you to do. Fucking drive, asshole. <laughs> Drive this fucking bitch!
missed him. Oh, shit. Shit, fucking fuck shit. Cut him, cut, cut. What are you planning on doing about this? Well, if we did it my way, we would have been here five minutes ago. Oh, fuck you, you motherfucker. Fuck you, you fucking... Night, man. Fuck! <laughs> we fucking got it. <sighs> you want your cut now? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Have it your way. We'll cut it when we get back to Hank's. <laughs>
So, I was listening in on the scanner. How'd they get to make you a car, Deke? That was my fault, sir. I told you security would be on break, but they weren't. File down the serial numbers, bury the plates, ditch the wheels at the yard first thing tomorrow, and go to rest. You. Get the hell out of here. Won't happen next time. What next time? Sorry about that, dude. Friend of mine vouched for him. Thought it was going to be a smooth sail. It happens. Yeah. Well, how you been? I don't think I get to see you so much lately. The garage has been pretty slow. I'm just hanging on lately. Yeah. It's pretty rough for everybody out there right now. Call me if anything else comes up. You bet. It's about time you cut him loose, Hank. You heard Nick. He fucked up. Deke got him back here. He's a needless risk. One of these days, his luck is gonna run out. And you're gonna be the one paying for it. Yeah, you let me worry about my business. If I need you, Adam, I'll call you. Now go on home. I gotta lock up. <sighs> Sorry, Hank. I know I'm coming off strong, but I'm ready for action again, okay? Just, just give me something. You gotta earn your stripes again, kid. Well, that was a while ago. I think I paid my dues. So how about it? I'll be in touch. Come on, Dave. The convention's in an hour. She's ready. All right. What's the damage, boss? 200 even. Okay, okay. Oh, and by the way, did you guys hear me talk about with the exhaust and the neon lights? Yeah. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. All right. Parked out front. All right, cool. Thank you. Oh, hey, D. Can I have you look at the Chevy next door? Yeah, sure thing, boss. All right. Is that your exhaust work back there? What do you want? Yeah, I just thought I'd stop by, see how you're doing. You don't talk to me much anymore. I heard Hank might have a job coming up. You know anything about it? He never told me anything. Well, I just thought maybe you could put in a good word for me, you know? You got the last three jobs. I'll think about it. I mean, you know, what happened a few months ago wasn't my fault, you know? I mean, Jacob pulled a piece on me and the cops were like two blocks away. No one ever said it was your fault. Yeah, I know. The business still ain't the same, Zeke. Say, uh, what do you say we take a spin for old time's sake, huh? First one to the top of the mountain takes a hundred bucks? I'm working. No, well, take your lunch break. It'll take 20 minutes. I thought you just say you were short on cash. Well, I'm not going to lose. Come on, Pete. I'll even let you pick the cars, okay? Any car in the garage you want for yourself, I'll even let you pick the car I drive. Any piece of shit you have here in the lot. You pick the cars. I gotta wash my hands. All right, then. All right, first to the top gets 100 bucks. You ready? Yep, I remember. You uh, you want to switch cars? I'm a little closer. Nah, let's just do this. All right, man of action. I like it. See you at the top, asshole.
What happened back there? She was ready to blow out. <laughs> Should have pushed it. Hundred bucks is worth more than this pile of crap anyway. Drop the car back off at the garage. All right. Where the hell were you? I get home same fucking time every day. fucking bottle and try again. the clothes in the back bedroom closet. Did I tell you to do that? No. Don't let it happen again. It's warm. Clean that up. Get me a cold one. Isn't that difficult, is it? Thank you, sweetie. Did you ditch the car? Yeah, no problems. Good. I didn't think there would be. Look. I know I used you on a job last night, but I got another one for you if you think you're up to it. Thought I'd lay low a couple of weeks. Just work out of the garage. This one's time sensitive. I need you on it today. Let's hear it. Hey, it's my niece. Her name is Gina. I don't get to see her too often. But she's the only family I got left around here anymore. So she's been calling me every couple of days over the last few weeks. She got this boyfriend who's been slapping her around, even using a closed fist when he gets drunk. She can't just step and leave. She got no money and nowhere to go. Plus, this asshole is the kind of guy who'd go after her if she tries. I'm worried for her. She's worried for herself. I'm a driver, hey? What do you want me to do about it? 
I got this buddy in Wyoming. He could get her started out right. Get her a room and a job. And just get her out of all this bullshit she's in right now. I'm not a taxi service, Hank. And I damn sure ain't a babysitter. Still on a bus. It's gonna be cheaper. No. No, I'd prefer if you were watching over her on the drive. You get it there in half the time. You're a stand-up guy, Deke. I trust you. Why don't you ask Adam? He's dying for another run. He'll probably even do it for half the price. Yeah, well, that's just it. I can't trust Adam anymore, can I? Especially not on this one. See, this shithead boyfriend of hers, his name's Marcus. It's Adam's brother. Now, if Marcus gets pissed and things go sideways, Adam's got to choose sides. I don't know where he's going to fall or what he might do to Gina. You guys are fucking hothead already. I blame myself for all this. I'm the one that introduced him at a wedding six months ago. I'm just trying to make things right with her. Come on, you got an answer for me, kid? I need Gina out of that house like yesterday. And this ain't no speed run either. You gotta take your time, no fancy driving. You just get her safely to my buddies in Wyoming. Get out all this craziness. Can you do that for me? Do you know home? Who the hell are you? I'm just a friend. She doesn't have any friends. What's your name? Deke. Okay. Deke? What do you want with her? I just want to say hello. Give her a fuck call next time, asshole.
medicine, buddy. Do I have to take your ass out in the middle of the street and beat the living shit out of you? Fuck off. I'd like to see Gina, please. You asked so nicely. Come on in, Deke. Wipe off your fucking shoes. Good boy. Look, look right here, Deke. Gina! Shake that tight little ass out here. You got a visitor. All right, wait right there, Deke. Gina! I just called you, get your fucking ass out of here. All right, Deke. So talk. Hi, Gina. Well, that was fucking riveting. Get back in your fucking room, Gina. She's coming with me. Excuse me? Deke? What did you just say to me? Gina is coming with me. Like hell she is. Now I got a question for you, friend. What are you doing in my house? Okay. Every time you don't answer my questions, I hit this fucking bitch until you do. Now, if you're really her friend, you'll tell me, what are you doing in my house? I'm here to drive her somewhere. Drive her where? <coughs> you hit her one more time and I'll kill you. <laughs> or you'll kill me. <laughs> okay, tough guy. sent me. It's now or never, Gina. Let's go. gonna set you up with a new life. Did Hank tell you to kill Marcus? No. But that was the only way I was gonna get you out of that house. Thanks anyway. Took Tina. <coughs> it took my baby from me. Who took her? <coughs> Some guy. <coughs> Call himself Deke. 
Deke. Deke shot you. <laughs> Where are they headed? I don't know, man. They just haven't left. I'm cold, man. Can you just turn on the heater? Uh, that's just the blood loss. You're going to be okay. What else can you tell me? <laughs> He's, he said Uncle Hank sent him. Hank. Hank sent Deke? That's, that's right. <laughs> you got to get me to the hospital, man. I, I'm, I'm barely hanging on here. Right. I'm calling an ambulance for you right now. Oh. Just hang in there, brother. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Adam, what are you doing here? I thought it was my turn, Hank. Your turn for what? Two times in a row now, you give that fucking little weasel a job. And I was just in here the other night and you said we were still good. It's nothing personal, Adam. Things just worked out for Deke, that's all. There'll be other jobs. My brother's dead, I think. He just died in my arms. And Deke killed him. Jesus. I'm sorry. Why did you tell Deke to kill my brother? I didn't. I... Then why did he kill him? Are you telling me Deke just got a wild hair up his ass and killed him on his own? The same Deke that can't even tie his own fucking shoes without your permission? He just waltzed into my brother's house and killed him for shits and giggles? Is that what you're fucking telling me, Hank? Don't do this, Adam. I got no part in your brother's death. You deserve to die for this. Now I'm pretty emotional right now and there's no telling what I'll do. So I'm gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna answer me honestly. My brother said you sent Deke to his house. Why? It was roughing Gina up. I sent Deke in to get her out of state. Huh. Where are they going? I can't say. Let's just give Gina some peace, huh? Oh my God. I could give two fucking shits about your knees, Hank, okay? She can walk away from all this when it's all said and done. I just want Deke. Where is he going? Wyoming. You want to give me an exact address, Hank? Wyoming's a big fucking place. I got a pen and paper. Hurry up. You need a car too. Where are your keys? All right. Consider this my Christmas bonus. You screwed me over last year. You know, I gladly would have driven Gina for you. My brother was a dick and she deserves to be happy, but it shouldn't have happened this way. What happened, Hank, huh? I thought you trusted me. Sorry, kid. Well, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna do this job right. This one's for you, boss. On the house. Ah! You fucking prick.
doing? You must have found your boyfriend. Marcus died. Likely. What's his brother doing after us? I can think of a few things. Shouldn't we keep going? I need at least a few hours of sleep. We'll make up for lost time in the morning. Why'd you agree to take me to Wyoming? For Hank. What else do you do besides drive for Hank? Nothing really. Nothing. I poke around cars sometimes. Driving's all I've ever been good at. Hank knows that. He respects me for it. You don't want to expand your horizons? I never felt the need. Why is that? A man spends his whole life trying to be good at one thing. The best there is. Otherwise, what's the point? You're just another rock on the mountain. Don't you ever want to be the best at something? No. How come? Because I'm not a man. Existing is enough for most people. I'm just trying to survive. If I can do that, then I'm okay. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Hell, that's no way to live. That's all I've ever known. But just because I'm not smiling don't mean I got nothing figured out. Well, let's get some sleep. Can't sleep? I have a headache. I left some aspirin in the bathroom while I was getting ready. there, cowboy. Any weapons on you? When we left, he was still alive. I never intended to kill him. Oh, you didn't intend to kill him. Well, what do you think happens when you shoot someone? He's dead now. What do you want? I'm gonna take the little lady here, I'm gonna finish the job for Hank. The way it should have happened in the first place. I'm not gonna kill him, Gina. Unless he follows us.
Don't. Don't. Sorry, kid. I had no idea Adam was gonna blow up like that. Well, you were playing favorites lately. What'd you expect? Well, nothing like this. How's Gina holding up? Is she okay? She's still in one piece. That's about it. Shit. Well, the road to recovery's no picnic, huh? <laughs> you be nice to her, right? I'll get her to Wyoming. And then I'll deal with Adam. You know, I was kind of hoping that you might want to stay in Wyoming. I could, I could wire you two some money when you get there. But I got nothing for you back here. I mean, nothing. I got... I'm all fucked up. Got a couple of broken ribs. It's... We'll talk later. Just take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> for a drink. 
You need anything? barely see straight anymore. Two nearly cracked my goddamn head open. You know, Marcus was an asshole. Why don't you just leave him? He used to beat me for warm beer. He would have killed me just for stepping outside. <laughs> you know what? You're probably right. You know, you could have had me talk to him, though, you know? I could have calmed him down. You two settle down, get married, pop out a few kids. I always wanted to be an uncle. Hank's not gonna pay you for taking me to Wyoming. Money's not the issue here, sweetie. All right, the man's gotta act on his principles or else he's not a man. Money's never the issue. If money's not the issue, then what do you want? You'll never understand. Look, just, just pull over, okay? I'll do whatever you want. Just let me go. Oh, you'll do whatever I want. What makes you think I want anything from you? Huh? See, that's your problem right there. You don't have any respect for yourself. Treat your body like a goddamn service station. Not every swinging dick out here is looking to fill up. God damn it. We're out of gas. Look, why don't you uh, step outside and flag down a car? You want me to flag a car down? Yeah. You got bigger tits than I do. Go on. Christ. Hey, don't stray far. I still have my peace on me. Just stick your thumb out and shake your ass. I'll be in the car.
Fuck! You're not hit, are you? I don't think so. Did he do anything to you? As soon as this job's done, I'm gonna have Hank send you my cut. Thanks, but I don't wanna. Why not? Because I didn't earn it. No, but you deserve it. More than me. Lounge, it's Hank. Hank, you still up? Yeah, just cleaning up. How you doing, kid? We're looking at getting there within the next couple of days. We're making pretty good time, all things considered. You know, I'll call my guy and let him know to expect you. He'll have your money for you when you drop her off. About the money, I don't want it. What? What happened to Gina? She's fine, Hank. I'll still honor my end. I just, I don't want nothing for it. Was she putting you up to this? No. I don't know if I'll be coming back after this. If I can make it to Wyoming still breathing, that's all I need. That's all I ever did need. Oh, you're talking crazy, kid. I know you don't touch the sauce. Are you getting enough sleep? I'm thinking just fine, Hank. I just wanted to call you and tell you thank you for giving me the opportunity to do what I'm good at. I proved what I had to. And I don't need anything else anymore. Just call me when you got a clear head, okay? I still got your money for you, kid. You don't have to sleep over the covers.
ends, does it? Just keeps going. Back in the car. It's, it's just so big. What is nature? The way of the world, whatever you want to call it. Can't beat it. No one can. You can't beat it, but you can still try. What for? Peace of mind. I'm just trying to survive. There's other ways. And they work a whole lot better. He's either out of that ditch by now or he's flagged down a car. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Dina. Paul, get in the car. Treat. 
sandwiches and two beers coming up. Like cupcakes in a bottle. Remember the old hostess cupcakes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, snowballs. <laughs> See that? One of oh, hell yes. We just got some. Oh, no. Come You like to dance? Knock yourself out. See how it's gonna be then. Hmm? Well, listen up, cowboy. You need to teach your bitch here how to play nice with strangers. (laughs) 
See, because we don't like no stuck-up cunts around here, now do we? Hmm? Oh, oh, what? <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Are we crying? <laughs> well, at least she's smart enough to know when she's fucked up, huh? Tell you what, Cupcake. As soon as you're done crying your eyes out, why don't you come on over where the real men are? Okay. And don't you worry, cowboy. You send that pussy back to you nice and warmed up. <laughs> She'll be over here any minute. Mm. We'll be waiting. Gina. Reach under the table. Safety's off, and there's one in the chamber. What am I supposed to do with this? You know what? I can't. You can. Just no one's ever given you the chance before. I'm giving you one now. You want to tear up every time you look down that empty road? Then you know what to do. I can't do it for you again. You creep my <laughs> Look, it'll be okay. Those shit kickers over there, they don't have any weapons on them. They won't try nothing. They may swing a fist or a knife, but I'll jump in if that happens. You hear? Ah, she can't resist good stuff like this. Baby girl. Come on. Come on over. Come on, baby girl. Daddy's got a place for you to sit. Right here.
Shut up. Shut up! Give me your keys and get out. My husband has them. Give me your spare. I, I don't have one. Where's your husband? He ran in the store to get a drink. All right, sit still and don't say a goddamn word. Don't try anything. I have a gun on you right now. Give me your keys. Get out. No, you Help stay. Me. Stop the truck, motherfucker! Stop the truck, Yeah, I'm feeling better. Good. Maybe now we can get some food, huh? you do? What? What would you do if you had the chance to make things right but it had to be done the wrong way? I don't know. Look, you can stop your crying, okay? I'm not going to kill you. Just answer the question. I don't know. Would you cheat your way to getting what you want quickly or would you play fair until you get it? I'd play fair? probably would. Most people would. Get out. Thank you. I won't tell anyone, I swear. Look, I don't care if you call the cops. By the time they catch up to me, this will all be done regardless of the outcome anyway. Probably get going. We gotta use the restroom now's the time. Where's the cargo? She's in the back. Good. I'll make this quick then before she gets back. You know, if I wanted vengeance for my dickhead brother, I could have killed you numerous times already. I want compensation. Then take it. Take it. How's that? You can have the money when I'm done. I'm not in this for a paycheck. I'm here to finish my job because that's what I promised Hank. Well, I don't think Hank's going to take my word for that when I come to collect. I'll tell him. <laughs> Shit, you'll tell him. Okay, well that solves everything. What do you want from me? I need you to turn around and go home. I don't need the constant distractions. I can't do that. 
I don't know how to make it any easier for you. Believe it or not, Deke, I'm not in this for the money either. This is personal. Hank said he'll use you on the next run. In fact, he has to. Because I'm hanging it all up after this one. Oh, is that a fact? Well, maybe I want to earn my keep just like you. It's never good enough for you, is it? No, it's not. I know you're better than me, Deke. It's always been that way. So that's what this is about. I can't do anything about that. You have to do better. Yeah, I'm trying. But doing better ain't always good enough. I need peace of mind. And that ain't gonna happen until I get the final one up on you. Some guys are happy living life is second best, but not me. I used to think the same. But the next guy's always gonna be better. Maybe try standing still for once and feel the moment. I heard it's not too bad. If you really believe that, maybe you should quit while you're ahead. That's the plan. I'll help you. <laughs> it's not what I meant. <sighs> okay. You finish your run. Hand off the skirt. You honor your commitment to Hank, and when you're all done, I'll be waiting for you. You'll get your peace of mind, and I'll get a fair chance of getting mine. Drive safely. What did he want? Same thing we all want. Come on. Let's get you home. Hello. Hank, we're getting close to the safe house. Well, that's good to hear. Look, I'm not going to be back to collect, but Adam might. Dick, what's this all about? I mean, come on, you earned it. I know. And that's good enough for me. Are, are you sure? I mean, you really want me to give Adam the money? Yes. Or keep it yourself. I don't know. Do what you want with it. Well, fine, Jesus. It's your money, kid. I just think you're making a mistake. I know you're always looking out for me, Hank. Just make sure Gina's set up nicely. Yeah, it's all taken care of. You got my word on that. I'll call Roy. I'll tell him to expect you. Thanks. I'll see you when you get back into town, kid. Hank, I told you. I'm not gonna be coming back after this one. Yeah, I know what you told me. I know. Just let me think you're coming back, all right? We made it. If you're worried about that guy you dropped back there, I'll take care of the gun. It's not registered anyways. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Hank said his buddy Roy's waiting for you. If Hank knows him, he's a stand-up guy. If not, you know how to take care of him now, right? <laughs> you wanna take it? I'll be fine without it. Here. Take it. I can't. 
I don't need it anymore. How will you get home? I'm not concerned about that. I've always had a plan or a place to go. Figure I'd wander a bit, try the survival thing out for once. See where it takes me. It's not as great as I was making it sound before. Yeah, we'll see. You want me to walk you in? No. No need for that. And what do you plan on doing now? See what Hank has lined up for me here? I'd like to get a job and a place on my own. It's always better that way, isn't it? Don't run her into the ground, do they? Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Gina, I'm Roy. Uh, room's ready for you. You got any bags? I uh, picked up some groceries earlier for us. If you want to get started, maybe making us something to- Make your own fucking food. Hey, you're welcome, sweetheart. Jesus Christ. What the hell you get me into, Hank? Yes. Where's your car parked, man? I ain't seen nothing for miles. The next gas station ain't for 10 miles up. You'd have never made it there by nightfall. Not on foot. Not with those boots. You got a voice, mister? Just thought I'd take a walk. Okay. Name's Jerry. How about you? Deke. Well, Deke, I'm on my way to see my daughter in California. You heading that way? Look, if you don't want to talk, that's fine. So what do you do? I'm a driver. A delivery driver? Taxi cab? Getaway driver. You a crook? Driving's all I was ever good at. Not much racing in my town, so I had to make some money how I could. You couldn't get a job at a construction site or a bank or something? I'm not good at construction or banking. Okay, okay. So what you doing out here now? Just tying up some loose ends. Did you? What are you gonna do now? Nothing. Nothing? did what I had to do, and I made a friend. That was more than I was expecting. I don't need anything else anymore. I just got one last thorn that's digging in my side.
Who is that? Hey. Get out. Okay, all right.
What do you say, Dick? <coughs> you still want to finish this right now? Yeah. How you want to end it? The only way we know how. Speed. You shot out two of my tires. <laughs> On foot then. Winner takes Hank's money. You remember the rules? On your lead. You win, Deke. Again. You know, Hank was right. You're the better man. But you know what? Made me better too. Yeah, but still not the best. Yeah. You're right. You're always right. I hate it. You know, I just do me a favor. Just let me die here on the road where I belong. Take care, Deke. You earned it.
blessing and not just a curse, then there's no justice in this world.